Hi there. Welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned in the the first paper coat weaving video I made, I, I suggested that I might redo it and um, and that's what I'm doing in this video. As you can see there are some some spaces, some imperfections here and there as you would expect for a first try. It's not that I couldn't have lived with it. I, I I am uh, quite capable of accepting a lot of mistakes in the in the things I make uh, for myself. So so that's not it. It's it's just as much that uh, I'd like some more practice and without having to make a new frame. So I'm just redoing it um, to learn and get better. So I'm just mounting it down, just clamping it down. Um, to the shape holes to get it up in a, in a good working height. Um, and this is the three of the corners are made like this with just eight rounds. Um, and I'm not sure whether or not it's necessary with this design, but I like that feature um, that is seen in, in some chairs where the seat frame the seat frame is in, in two different heights um, and uh, usually it's a, a trapezoid shaped seat and so you have to to do something in the the front corners um, but here I'm just doing that on three of the corners and on the fourth where the, the actual weave begins I'm, I'm doing it like this um, which is the same thing as in the other corners, except it's a longer strand of cord. Yeah. And instead of nailing it to the side, when I'm, I'm done with the eight rounds, I start weaving the seat instead. Yeah. On my first try, I, I made a holder for the cord that I sort of weaved through the middle of the seat and um, and on this second try here I'm I'm doing it with the cord loose um, just to try that see if it makes a lot of difference um, I'm sure you can get a good result either way um, but I just wanted to try this in this way you sort of have to retain the tension on the on the strand of cord uh, throughout, um, whereas in the other you would go around all four corners and then put a little clamp on the on the cord and then you would tighten it. Um, here I'm continually trying to keep keep tension on the strand. Well, here in the beginning I'm struggling a little, but um, I'm, I'll get the hang of it later. Um, so yeah, one hand is just sort of keeping keeping the cord tight, and the other one is is uh, going around the corners, up and down, all that stuff. And so here is the the, the difficult part, which is uh, part of why I, I wanted to redo it. Um, that the first I don't know so many rounds is uh, the hardest around the corners because you have to sort of. Yeah, form it or mold it, mold the seat. Um, I don't know if you can call it that, but, but so you have to to form it with your hands. You have to push down to where you want the or expect the the final seat to to be um, when you cross over with the with the cord going in the other direction. And so it, it takes some practice and it's um, basically uh, the thing is when you go over there and then you go under there in the intersection between those two strands it will it will be too high so you have to push it down um, at least on two of the corners and it's going to be too low on the other two corners and then you will have to to um, to pull it back up to the right level or well, maybe I'm wrong. maybe you have to push it down on all four corners because you're going 
over the beam. Yeah. Um, it just there's a different feel to two of the corners than the other two corners, diagonally paired because the strand is working a little differently on those two. Um, and so the one at the top of the screen now is the easy corner, and the bottom of the screen is easy, and those to the sides are the are the difficult corners. Um, so you just have to be a little a little mindful of that. And uh, definitely, <laughs> there's some problems with going with the with the strand without um, that without it being wound up on that that piece of uh, of board I had in the in the first try, but um, because that long loose uh, line there can get caught up in all sorts of things. But um, I don't know. You, you can do it either way. I I kind of like this way just because you have it feels like you might have a little more control of the tension on the on the on the string um, that it gets becomes a little more evenly distributed I think um, and definitely if you can make some sort of setup where you can move around the whole piece that'll make it a lot easier just like I have here um, so you don't have to just work from one side, but well, I, I guess if you're super pro, you could just stand on one side and you could get the right tension on all the corners. But at a beginner's level, I would suggest you you make some sort of setup where you can move around on all the corners and sort of get the same get in the same working position, um, more or less on all corners, um, to make it easier on yourself to to get the same level of tension on all on all sides. Yeah, and from then on in it's it's sort of just doing the same thing over and over again. Over under, over under, over under. Um tighten it, run the the string through. And uh, yeah, again, coming back to the this the loose the loose string. Um, if you make it too long, it will have a tendency to to tangle up itself or wind itself around all sorts of things. Um, and so I think you don't have to worry too much about having to make more knots on the bottom of it. I don't think that's uh, that's dangerous. You might feel it's a little dangerous because that feels like some points where the whole seat can, uh, can go loose. Um, but I, I'm not so sure it's that, that dangerous. I don't have enough experience to say either or, but it feels like it's less dangerous than I would have thought before I started doing this. Um, it feels like the the knots at the bottom are quite uh, tight. You can tighten them quite a lot, um, so it's not that that dangerous. In quotes, here I'm just I'm. At some point I was not happy with, so I'm just redoing something, going back a couple of rounds, and then redoing it. I'm just tightening up something somewhere. And yeah, you can see the the mechanics of, of pushing down the the strand in the corner when you're crossing over to make sure it comes down in the level where the seat is going to be. Um, and if you don't do that, it will have a tendency to just sort of, yeah, I don't know, get uneven in the, in the dia diagonal in towards the center of the, of the seat. So, Here I am in the hexagonal cabin, 
um, you might you might know these uh, offcuts from the the offcut sessions from the stop motion time lapse uh, footage from the cabin build. Um, still don't know what to do with them. Um, they might they might end up as as firewood, but uh, they might end up as uh, some sort of garden gnomes instead. Just like they are there, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shape them. Um, but they they have the their own little nature to them, so I might I might let them uh, survive the stove, but uh, we'll see about that. I did try a couple of different ways of running the, the cord through with this loose loose cord, but um, yeah, I think going around two corners and then pulling it through was uh, the one that worked best. Um, if you go around more corners before you run it through, it's, it's going to cause uh, too much resistance and it's going to gonna be a little... It take a little too much effort to get it through, and it might tangle up in all sorts of things. Um, if you do it for every corner, you're gonna get tired of it. You can do that at at the end of the of the cord, but not at the beginning. I might should mention that um, I'm still not wearing gloves, even though it could be an idea. But um, instead, I I put some band-aid on my on my right hand uh, pinky and index fingers because that's where I got the blisters on the first first try of this. Um, so I did a little to try and protect myself and. Uh, as I recall, it worked out pretty well. This is about a week ago now, and, and my fingers have healed. Uh, I think I got an, another, a new blister on, in a new place on the, my ring finger, actually, and, I, and I'm not quite sure why. I, I don't think I use it that much to pull, but I might have. Um, well, I am right there. So, there you go. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. You should probably wear a glove, that would probably be a good idea. Or more band-aids. The further you get in towards the middle, the, the more the, the, the strand of cord will sort of be in the right level in there. So you have to push down less and less um, when you go across or go around the corner and then um, only has to be pushed down like, I don't know, a couple of millimeters, um, where in the beginning it has to be, be pulled down, I don't know, a centimeter or, or two. Um, and so it gets easier and easier.
and you get more practice the further you come towards the middle. So that helps as well. Again, just trying to keep the tension uh, the same at all points in the process. Um, there's not a, there's, I don't, I guess it's wrong to say there's not any elasticity in the paper court, but there's very little. Um, and so it's not like it's loosening um, like around several corners if if you loosen up a little you don't have to go all that way back to tighten it again um, and it's easy to see where where it's getting loose and so you just have to sort of you don't have to yeah be afraid that it's running loose uh, far way back in your work. And here I'm trying to redo something without uh, unwinding too much of it. I think I confused myself a little there, um, but found out what I was, where I was, and what was going in what direction. And uh, got back to to moving forward here. I think. Sometimes a strand will will land um, in the gap next to where it should have been, and so you have to sort of push it over. It can happen uh, underneath, and will sort of, um, yeah have an impact up in the seat as well. Um, so s sometimes I think uh, more often than I'm doing, you should look on the bottom of it and see if everything is as it should be. Um, So, further you get to the middle, the harder it is to sort of um, get your hands on the on the strand when you poke it through the middle there. You get hands on it without it falling down again, um, because your your one hand is out there on the on the edge of the seat, and I don't know. There might be some sort of trick to it, but if you want to sort of have one hand out there on the on the side of it to keep the tension of the strand, it's a little hard to to catch the strand going through in the middle at the same time. So, um, don't remember whether I found uh, some sort of, um, of universal way of doing that at the end there, or or whether I just tried a couple of different things and it started to work out. Um, here I'm at the at the last part of the of the weave and it's uh, the middle and so it's just going to the sides so at this point it's just be mindful that um, yeah if if you don't sort of push the the cord halfway into the cord to its side um, it's going to feel Feel too much space in there in the middle compared to out in the sides, and so that is sort of what you're trying to um, to battle against at this point in the process. Um, and of course, that there is not a lot of space to get the the cord through in the middle there, um, so you might have to struggle a little with that. Um, yeah, but uh, just yeah push it uh, as much in the middle as you can because um, else you're, you're not going to get enough um, enough strands in there in the middle 
to cover the outside. Um, I hope that makes sense. I think I, I put on a little piece of tape at the end of it because uh, the cord there is made of three uh, smaller strands of, of paper and so they can unwind at the end and so I was trying to uh, yeah, put a piece of, of tape around it to sort of hold it together but I, it might have just created a little more friction than, than needed. I'm not quite sure it made it easier. so. A little bit of moaning going on, or groaning at that point, because it's. Uh, I think it's three hours into the process, and it was a uh, quite, quite sunny day, so it's quite, quite warm. But here we are at the, at the final knot, um, just trying to figure out what I'm pulling and whether it has an impact on, the, on the actual seat, um, whether I'm pulling something in a wrong direction. Um, but you just have to go as parallel over to the other side and, and sort of yeah tie a good tight knot in there at the middle. Um, and that's it. So it's not perfect but uh, it's uh, it's quite a lot better than the first try and um, I can definitely live with that this. I could live with this. This is the earlier version and this is a new one. I could live with either or. As I said, it's just to to give it another try and learn a little more. Thanks for watching.